Hey everybody, Dustin Dupirak here, intern and Troy Provost Aaron, out here at uh, the new Commonwealth Stadium, which apparently is a heck of a lot nicer than the old Commonwealth Stadium, at the very least from the press facility standpoint. There was a lot of complaining about the old stuff. I never saw it, I don't know. Anyway, uh, Tennessee starts off sort of, in a, what in a way is kind of the second half of their season, even though there's only five games left and they've played seven. Uh, it's a different sort of stretch. They don't have nearly as difficult a competition down, down uh, in these last five games. And uh, they kind of made a statement, I think, in, in this first game, 52-21 to 21 victory over Kentucky. They had a little problems early. Uh, Josh Dobbs gets strip sacked. You know, Corey Johnson takes that back 77 yards. But, uh, and they, were, they fell behind 14-10 after that, 28 straight points. Seemed like they, other than a, a few of those mis miscues, played one of, I think, their best games so far. Yeah, uh, defense got them going early, and the offense kind of picked it up from there. Um, Kentucky gets 117 yards in the first half, um, two for most of the game. First half, uh, I mean, you they played they played really well defensively, and then from there, offense was able to gain some momentum late in the first half and kind of carry that over to the second. And half. then, of course, special teams. Yes, Evan Berry and Cam Sutton. Uh, two really big returns, but I thought the blocking on both of those was just tremendous. I mean, those guys both had just huge alleys yeah. run through. Yeah, uh, yeah. Evan Barry was helped a lot by Mike Abernathy and kind of was able to, you know, break an arm tackle, get to the sideline, and his speed is tremendous down there once he gets those blocks. And mm -hmm. I think you could say the same about Cam Sutton. When he gets in the open space, he's just as good as anybody. And, um, you know, they talk about it all the time. We practice special teams every day. And I think this year it's shown they have seven return touchdowns this year, uh, two that have been called back. I think, you know, you could argue this is one of the best special teams units Tennessee has ever had. No, clearly. And Aaron Medley also hit a 44-yard field goal. Obviously, he needed one of those. Uh, the kid had really been struggling. You had to imagine it was probably getting in his, in his head after last week when he missed three field goals. It really could have made a difference against Alabama. But uh, 44 yards from the left hash hit that one pretty well. I think that, that was really big. They also, they kick off covered well. I know special teams was really good all around. I thought the play that really kind of changed things uh, for them was Josh Dobbs, I think, hits a bigger throw than I think we've ever seen him make in, in terms of the amount of air he had to put underneath that, the length that that thing just had to sit up in the air, just a, a fly route down the sideline to Josh Malone for a 75-yard touchdown. Looked like that energized the team, but I think it also it, it, it does something for this, this offense to have just sort of the deep ball be a part of what they do. Yeah, it came at kind of an odd time because prior to that, he had missed a few of those throws. They had yeah. been trying it a few times before then, but it was a really pretty pass and it was a really nice catch by Malone and ability to kind of stay up and score. And Yeah, it's going to be huge for this offense. If they can get that going, you know, um, it makes it, it adds another level of dynamic to it with Hurd and yeah. Lamar. It doesn't even have to be a consistent thing. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily have to be a play that hit every time. The threat of it has to exist, yes. I think. Just the fact that you know that you have to defend, you know, if, if you're a cornerback, you have to defend wide receivers the length of the field. That, and and that know that Dobbs can do that. That defensively, you have to make sure you have safety help back there. That's going to open some things up, I think. It just, just the fact, I mean, Alvin Kamara said it. He's like, if just that being on film is going to make a big difference for this offense. Yes. But, uh, yeah, uh, we talked before, you know, about the possibility of this team being able to run the table from this point on. To me, certainly looks like they can. I think Kentucky's the best all-around team they play. You know, certainly Missouri's going to be interesting just because of how well they play defense and they muck it up a little bit. But this Tennessee team looks like, if they play like this, I think this team should run the table. Yeah, I think this was, as you said, this was one of their biggest tests. Mm -hmm. And to, to dominate in the way they did, um, I think the only hurdle they have left is Missouri because they get their quarterback back and Matty Mock. But mm -hmm. if they're able to get past that one, I I think 5-0 and is is definitely a possibility. Should yes, definitely it happen. Should happen. So, yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody.